Hello and welcome to the Great NHS Heist Report. You may remember the report that Bob and I gave on the Naylor Report. During the election campaign, Theresa May said that she was prepared to implement all of the recommendations held within this report, which essentially detailed the selling off of NHS land assets. This was presented under the deceptive language of efficiency and savings. The sale of this land was to be incentivised through threats of lack of investment for trusts and hospitals who did not put their land up for sale and for a financial reward for those who did. This land is to be sold off to developers who as yet are under no legal obligation to build affordable or social housing. Moving forward, we now hear of Project Phoenix, which is set to expand public-private partnerships within the NHS, enhancing private profit at the expense of taxpayers. But how did we get here? This hasn't just sprung up on us. We need to look back and see, just have a review of um, the key steps that have set the NHS up for this land grab. Back in 1997, the Labour government undertook private finance initiative. This was a way to build hospitals using private money. But this was a very expensive way of using financing. We've borrowed 11 billion and the public will have to pay back 80 billion, at the end of which we still don't own the hospitals. Quietly along the way, the Ryrie rules, which were a set of principles which guided politicians to make sure any financing met the value for money test, that is, it wouldn't be more expensive than public borrowing. But these were quietly abandoned by the Blair government. So it allowed governments to borrow very expensively for banks to make profit and for financiers to make profit. The next key step was the breaking up of the NHS into foundation trusts back in 2000. And what this did was set hospitals up as arm's length business entities. And this also makes it easier to privatise the NHS if you break them up into smaller uh, bite size and manageable assets. And this is what we're seeing um, being used at the moment. The next step was in 2009, the introduction of the unsustainable provider regime. Now, this was a set of uh, a framework, a false bank bankruptcy framework, which could be used to sell off public hospitals that we all own, to pay off the debts of neighbouring hospitals that were saddled with private finance initiative. And this was brought in despite the 2008 financial collapse. No lessons were learnt. The government still continued to do the bidding of the banks and the financial sector. But what has also gone on over the last two decades is the hospital finances have been set up in such a way they've created a market whereby the government sets a price on certain activity, let's say a hip replacement might be worth so much. Well, the value of these procedures has been slowly shrunk to make hospitals struggle financially. The cost of paying off PFI loans has gradually increased. And we see now most trusts are financially in deficit. So they've been manipulated and manoeuvred into a situation where they have no more money and the, nail, the government has made it clear there's no more money available unless they flog off land. So Project Phoenix is all systems go. When we talk about NHS assets, we are talking about buildings, space for beds and large equipment. We already have the lowest bed to population ratio in Europe and a perennial bed crisis. This government now wants to sell off that land so that private companies can make a profit. At the same time, they will expand private financing of new buildings, which has already proven to be a massive financial millstone around the NHS's severely weakened neck. Make no mistake that this will ensure profit for the super wealthy at the expense of all of us, profiting from the hard-won taxes of working people. The NHS is no longer simply being underfunded, it is being deliberately defunded. Um, it's worth noting that NHS Property Services, which is a limited company which holds around 11% of NHS assets, which was set up after the abolition of primary care trusts in the 2012 Health and Social Care Act. They've just taken a five-year lease, lease on a very expensive property in the City of London, the city's financial district. 
one wonders about uh, the five-year lease. One also wonders about the title, Project Phoenix, suggesting that something is going to rise from the ashes. I wonder what will rise from the ashes of the NHS. Well, it seems very convenient. It's set up in the City of London, and we will see global capital being invested in what used to be NHS land, and this will be done to maximise profit. It has nothing to do with the public interest. Um, if you want to find out more about some of the top topics we've discussed, go to our website, thegreatnhsheist.com. You'll find links to a film we made in 2014 called Sell Off. And please support our new film, The Great NHS Heist. Go to our GoFundMe page, gofundme.com, The Great NHS Heist. Thank you.